Okay, so I went back in and I added in just a little bit of eyeliner and then I put on a little bit more mascara um, on my 90s side. So um, I feel like I call this just sort of my like generalized like theater eyeliner. So um, from up close, like yeah, you can see like I have on like a really thin layer of um, eyeliner, but from further away, I feel like just like a really simple line like that just kind of like backs people's lashes um, without it looking like super overwhelming. So I think it's a way to like give somebody definition, but I don't think it like distracts from any of my eye makeup or anything on that side. Um, that's just me. Obviously everybody has like their own personal preferences for eyeliner, but um, I know I've been asked before like what kind of eyeliner should somebody do for like a basic stage look? I think just sort of that like general like line across or like whatever it is that like suits your eye shape, but like nothing crazy like a wing or anything like that. Um, I think just enough to like make your eyelashes pop because like I'm not going to do false lashes for this look. Certainly in the 90s they did like um, false lashes, um, but I'm not going to do it um, for this look just to give my eyes a break. But if you don't have false lashes to use for somebody for a show but you want their lashes to be more pronounced doing something like that um I feel like it just makes my lashes stand out so much more than they did before um but you can still very clearly see that I'm wearing this lovely frosted purple eyeshadow um so that's just one one tip and trick one opinion for me um so we're going to talk about eyebrows in the 90s um so 90s eyebrows um most people wore them very very thin there were still some people that were doing like the more natural like larger ones um but I do feel like the like iconic eyebrow trend for the 90s was very thin brows um my eyebrows are pretty thin already but uh they're a little thick for what people did in the 90s, so um, I'm not going to cover my brows. I would never ask someone to probably like shave them off or cover them for a show if we were gonna do 90s stuff, but remember like um, they did kind of like that more like really thin like 1920s line. Um, if you look at people like Drew Barrymore had some really like small eyebrows in the 90s, Christina Aguilera, um, I think even J-Lo had um, really thin brows in the 90s, so um, in order to do that, I'm just not gonna fill them in quite as much as I did. I'm not gonna give them like this nice of a like defined shape I'm really just gonna like barely fill them in and then I'm even gonna darken them a little bit um just because I feel like you see a lot of people in the 90s too um with brows that were maybe darker than was actually right for their hair color um even though my hair is kind of like purple and green and everything um I'm still gonna not go with the like blondish color as much I'm gonna go like a little bit darker but I'm still gonna use that first like taupey blonde color to kind of map it out and then I'll go back in uh and deepen it um, where I feel like I need it. So just like always, I'm still going to kind of like start in the same place, but I'm going to be really careful about, um, where I'm filling it in just so I don't make it, um, too thick like that. And so we're going to see how, um, thin in 90s I can make my eyebrows. Um, so I think I'm going to like, I'm going to make like harder strokes when I'm doing this just so that you get that really, cause I mean, they were not drawing in hair. They were just like straight lines <laughs> on their faces. So I'm going to kind of make it a little bit more um of like a harsh line than I would because normally I like to really like um fill them in and kind of fluff them out just in my own life not just in my 80s life um but for this I'm gonna try to be a little bit more harsh with it um so obviously I have quite a bit of eyebrow hair compared to like what the trend was um but I've found that if you don't want to cover your brows or like you can't cover your brows if you only fill in what you want people to look at um that kind of helps um, so I don't know, I probably can't get my eyebrows, God, like, super 90s looking, but, um, I can certainly try. Um, and I feel like a lot of times, like, they came in, like, a little bit too far. See, that's still, like, way too much eyebrow hair for what the 90s would be. Um, uh, but that's about as thin, um, as my brows can probably get. Um, but, uh, you're gonna see when I get up close that there's a whole part of my eyebrow that I did not even fill in. Um which is sad because I always fill it in, but I have a whole hunk of hair that I didn't even fill in. Um, so you can see, I don't know how easily you can see it, but um, I should have eyebrow hair right here, but I just decided to not fill it in for this. Um, so I can get more of that just kind of like circly shape. Um, I still have a little bit too much hair right here, um, but I'm gonna try to like highlight over that too to kind of make it go away. Um, but I am gonna go back in now uh, and I'm gonna use like a dark brown <laughs> to try to make it like more dramatic um, and that much more terrifying than it already is. Um, and with this, I'm be really careful because, um, this one is very pigmented, but sometimes I feel like, um, when you do it darker like that, it's a little bit easier to, like, fake the shape, um, especially if you're on stage, um, a trick like that is gonna work a lot better than when you're, like, this close to my face and you can see, like, eyebrow hair and not eyebrow, so, um, this is definitely probably more of, like, a stage trick, uh, than a life trick, but 
I have found that it does it does work because you're not always gonna have time to like cover somebody's bra <laughs> cover somebody's brows for something, <laughs> but um, it will certainly yeah is adding that color and that really that's that's a cute uh, 90s 1920s situation. Um, I feel very Gwen Stefani and terrifying right now with the way my eyebrows are. Um, oh my gosh, that is really scary you guys um but that means that it works right if you have that reaction to your eyebrows then congratulations you did your 90s eyebrows correctly um and we can all just be thankful that this is not a trend anymore right um i'm gonna go in and kind of highlight around this and clean this up a little bit and uh then we will kind of talk a little bit about body glitter and shimmer and we will finish off our 90s and 80s lips